Hi, welcome to the hive. We want to talk about our binder. This is our exemplar portfolio. I'm seeing parents that students are not quite making the, the hitting the mark when it comes to the binder. And then we had some new students to come in. So to make sure that we all get equitable information, I want to present how we do our binder. First, we have this binder. And over here, this, this is not the three inch binder that we have. This is just a smaller version, just so I can show you. Over here is what we call warrior work. It is synonymous to homework, except for it's just a name that we gave it, warrior work. In this pocket, it should only be the work that needs to be done for that day. If your child has a stack of papers in here, then something's wrong because it should not be anything in this pocket other than work that needs to be done for that day. The next thing, as you will see in the, in the um, demonstration model um, binder task sheet, you saw that the first thing you should have is your pencil pouch. Then you should have your calendars. As you get a calendar, you will add to it. Like the first one we did was August. We make our own calendars. Here we have September. And now we are going into the week calendars. So here is the Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday calendar. You can look on your child's team channel and they should be able to find the calendar under class materials. You will see a document, digital document, that looks like this. It has this, it has this, and as you just seen, this was already drawn out on the demonstration that I just showed you. So you see it says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and it says Thursday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And here are examples of how to fill it in. For each of the six classes that they have, they should always write down the homework. If there is no homework, no homework should be noted. No homework. But none of these should ever be empty. It acknowledges and it holds the child accountable for the learning of that class. So then we go in to our class subjects, which would be science, math, social studies, language arts. And then here would be your edit tab. Now, whereas these are not done, there should be the subject tabs in here. Like for example, we have subject tabs. A good example would be like, this is a subject tab. It actually has something in it. Like this is wicker. Wicker is the foundational strategies that Avid uses. It's the baseline foundation of our learning, of our strategies and skills that Avid provides to help our students to become successful. Here, as I flip through, we have preparedness, which is our first tab. As you saw in the other model binder uh, sheet that you saw, the task sheet that you saw, you saw preparedness, writing, inquiry, collaboration, organization, and reading. All of these are our main tabs for our section for the Avid. So here we have preparedness, which is the first one. Now right here on the board, you see where all of the subject areas I was talking about is listed. Here is the Avid section right here, here. Section tabs, as I just named, preparedness, writing, inquiry, collaboration, organization, and then we slide it up, it will be reading. And I will slide it up so that we can see all the tabs only. And you see here we have reading. So these are the assignments and the order they should be in. So under preparedness, which where your child would take a post-it note, they will, like this, right? They will take a sheet of notebook paper. They will write the word preparedness. Here's a post-it note. They will put the post-it note right here. And just like right here on the edge, they will write the word preparedness. They will do the same thing for writing, writing, inquiry, inquiry, collaboration, 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 
organization, 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 reading, reading, reading. As you see, you will see that we have that done as we go through. So let's look at first one, preparedness. Preparedness, the first thing it said it should have is a green contract. Here's the green contract. The second thing would be the remind sheet. All parents should sign up for that because that is how you know what we're doing here in our class. Of course, I have sixth, seventh, and eighth grade remind sheets, but this is what a remind sheet looks like. It has the information for you to sign up to, keep, to stay connected with us. So the next thing it says is our SLANT acronym. Here it is, our SLANT acronym. Then it says our AVID acronym. As you see, we have the AVID acronym. After that, I have this one in here, uh, the oral presentation rubric, which is not here, but it's something we're doing today. So it will be added to the new sheet. Each week, the children, will, the, the, the children and advertisers will get a new updated AVID binder checklist for them to, on week, the weekend, to look at their sheet and make sure, look at their binder and look at their sheet to make sure their binder is in order based on that sheet. The same way it's in order and I'm demonstrating here. So this sheet is a time log sheet. Is time log up here anywhere yet? No, so that shows you that this is in the wrong place. So it needs to be removed. Then we have, remember we talked about writing? Writing. Here we are with the writing tab. After writing it says summary and reflection. Here we are, summary and reflection sheet. The next sheet says race, which is a strategy that we're using for writing and use, you use this red, the race strategy to, to construct your responses for um, constructive responses. So here you go, race. Here we have people like me, belief statement. There is a, if you look in your child's teens channel, you will see a link that says belief. People like me, belief statements. You will see the link and they should have it constructed this way. Now just be mindful parents. Let me just go back over the heading. The heading is the name. So it's easier when we fold our paper like this, since this is our first assignment. Fold it like this, then you open it up so that you can make sure the name, date, full date. We don't write numerical value for months. So today is September the 2nd. So we will write our name, September the 2nd, 2021. Then we will write the class period. Then over here we will write topic and we will write the section. The section is noted so that they will know where in the binder to file it. This one says writing. So it's gonna be filed behind the writing tab. So whenever you see section, it tells so the student will remember where to file it. So then we have inquiry and collaboration. Those are uh, the part of the Wicker strategy, the average strategy base that we have not covered yet. We are just into the four weeks of school. So we are talking about inquiry and collaboration so then we have organization. So we have nothing behind inquiry. We have nothing behind collaboration. Here we are with organization where we should have what we call time log. So we have some notes that they wrote on time log. And here is the time log, the one that was in the wrong place. But here it is here and it's listed where it should be. And then we have some reclaim my time draft notes, which is, and then this is something new that they will be getting today as well, but we're gonna do SMART goals and that will be added to the new list. So here we are. Now this one is huge because this is their first real assignment right here. I need parents to really pay attention. This is a reclaiming my time project. It is a time management project where we did the time log, right? So the time log gave them a lot of insight on what, how they spend their time. Are they managing their time correctly? Are there some things they should be doing that they're not doing? Should they be doing more of something and less of something else? It kind of gives them an indication of what they should and should not be doing with their time. So in the end, 
they have a project where they write their heading and they will do a graph, a bar graph, which I have a video. And in their Teams channel, under, um, pro, uh, under Reclaiming My Time, Time Management Project, it has all the details about how to construct the bar graph based on the time log. But just for the record, if I, you know, you, you can, you'll see it all. If you have any questions, please do call me. But I think it's pretty clearly defined on how you should do it. Here we are with the summary and the reflect. I even gave them a little hint on how to respond to the reflect. Notice how our papers are structured. Structure is very important and following instructions is extremely important because when we wanna be successful, we have to follow instructions. If they say, if we have a scholarship letter uh, uh, and it says that it needs to be written in 12 font times New Roman, but you decide that you like Baskerville Old Face better, your application will get thrown out because the directions were very clear. So we are teaching children how to follow instructions because those instructions can be very valuable to, for, for lifelong lessons and lifelong opportunities. So for the A day on, okay, so then we have reading. Behind reading it says nothing, but we actually have something called buzzwords that we're going to add to that, that they have worked on. And these are words that students come in contact with that are gonna be important as they matriculate through life. All right, so then we have for the sixth grade A day only, the CTAE, tab where they're going to put the CTAE work. So far they had one assignment which was a vision board and that was due already. So if your child didn't do this vision board, then that means that either they are new and they didn't get it or they just simply have not done it. So if you could please help them. All right. Here's some more. They did some notes on coding for the CTAE class and they did some notes on, you know, just different activities. So, you know, all of those should be behind CTAE. So that's our binder. And it, it's ongoing. So we really need your support in going through this. Remember that WICR, W-I-C-O-R, Writing, Inquiry, Collaboration, Organization, and Reading. Those are the foundation, that's the acronym, that's the foundational um, tool bank that we use to help us to implement the average strategies so students can be successful in becoming college and career ready. These are the tools that AVID use, the success tools are based on Wicker. So the foundational strategies, you will be able to see how they are operating, how they are navigating through them and how they are successfully mastering them by looking under each one of those letters and the acronyms. Okay, so we thank you very, very much for your time. And we hope that you have found this to be very helpful for how we are organizing our binder here. Thank you.